with Chris. They'll try the near side, kept in by Johnson. Johnson right back down low. Jacob Laka, centering pass out in front, and Zeke with an opportunity. And he was denied by Nieto. We get a snake uh, up until this season with the puck, whether it's in close corners or it's along the boards. To, very impressive, and it's good to see his hard work paying off. Now Klee throws it off of Morello, deflected in front. Oh, and a chance there for Polino. Up the near side wall, Zeke takes a look. Finds Hallbauer into the zone. He comes, drops it off for Dubinsky. Across to the far side, a shot off the crossbar. Jacob Laka looking for two goals in two nights. It was great passing from the engineers into the zone. They nearly made it count. Yeah, just a beautiful. That's broken up, and now Brown back the other way. Bodwin for Jalen. Circle shot was blocked. Second try, they score right under the crossbar. It's Chris with the goal. Luke Chris, his second goal of the season, and it's 1-0 Brown. So once again, the opponent comes and takes the early lead here at the field house. Good setup by Brown after maybe seeing what RPI did on the back end. Calvarusa has to slide over. And yeah, no one's stopping that. Yeah, can't get up quick enough. Hits the corner. Yeah, it was top. That was a snipe shot. Top shot. Taking another clear, but instead they sent into the bench. Shot from a tight angle and a save. Laka right off the draw. It was a sneaky play. Nieto is ready for it. And now with 10 seconds to go in the period, RPI moves to center. Maybe one more rush here. Eight to go in the period. Johnson waiting. Carries it in. Engineers stay on side. Dubinsky throws it towards the net. Redirected just wide by Laka. And that surely would have been something as now Laka gets tangled up there with Jachari. And they need to be separated. Get some help from Ashbrook. He'll shoot it far side. Trying to get there is Gornel, and he does momentarily. Keeps it in the zone. Makes a move. Three on three now in the zone. Down low. Rap try. Oh, Ashbrook had a chance to try and stick it home. He just couldn't reach it. Engineers win the center ice draw. Hallbauer has it. Stick handling through the middle. He gets hooked a bit. Turns into a chance maybe for a two on one. They carry back the other way. Taylor a shot. Blocker save. Rebound. Another stop by Calmaruso. And he holds on. One of his bigger saves. Probably his biggest save as an engineer so far. I know small sample size, but that was a big time stop on the rush. Faking a clearance there was Riley as Chelberg got uh, tied up. Now it's given away. Gornel trying to break short handed. Mike Gornel steps around Stillwell. Gornel to the net. Couldn't get it to go. He tried to center. Engineers on the attack here, down by a goal. Billy Jerry turning, fed across. Riley, wrist shot coming, saved by Nieto on the right pad. Engineers still buzzing behind the goal. Riley again, a shot and a save, and Nieto will get a cover. To the point, well, lost it there. Plessy across, moving in. Dodd, a shot right on, and a save by Calvaruso, and he holds on. And now behind the goal, Gornel trying to wrap, turning and shooting. Second try, fed just wide by Lepinen. Had a little bit of a lane to shoot at, but he missed the net. Ashbrook down low, takes a funny hop off the wall. Nice move by Lepinen, throws off the boards to himself, or the back of the net to himself, rather. Now Hallbauer at the point, shooting it down low, goes all the way through. Wrap around try, Ashbrook, and that's denied by Nieto. Good effort there by both uh, Lepinen and then Ashbrook. Now off the post, it comes free to Hallbauer. From Crossman, and that one went screaming high and wide. Another shot comes in over the top of the net. Jam try, Calvaruso finds it, and now we get a pile up next to the crease as uh, Bears are being escorted away from the area by RPI penalty killers. Dubinsky takes his man out of the play, now trying to walk down in front, a shot! And that was Mashy. He had a screen in front as well from Burgess and just, I think, missed the net, or and Nieto might have gotten a piece of anyway. We're going to have an icing call here against the Bears. 9.50 to go. And a 8.14 left. Face-off win for RPI. Johnson steps into one and hammers it wide. There was a collision after the play. Nieto got upended as he was running to a pipe by Polino. I don't know how he got there. Morello, anyway, takes over in front. Fanning on it there was Polino again. Near side, neutral zone. Feeds it ahead. Intercepted by Taylor. Taken right back by Dubinsky. He'll force it into the zone. Bouncing puck gathered up by Lepinen. Spinning there. Zeke a shot. Oh, he put it just wide. At the bottom of the left circle, Jay Zeke had some time and space. And he just missed the net. Dubinsky to take the face off here. Up uh, against Maloney. 
Straight backwards it goes. Gorner takes a look. Up top, Riley across. One-timer fanned on by Babichuk. Six seconds to go. Babichuk in the corner. He'll throw it in front. A shot, they score! Mike Gornel with two seconds on the clock ties the game. Are you kidding me? Corey Babichuk. He stuck with it. He fanned on a shot from the circle. But he went and retrieved the puck in the corner, sent it across, and Gornel was there for the open net. And he buries it. Gornel backtracks a bit, goes cross ice there for Babichuk. Fed near side, good connection. Here's Gornel into the zone. Has a man going to the net. Shot by Ashbrook, he scores! Tristan oh! Ashbrook has won the game in overtime, just 36 seconds into the extra frame. His second goal as an engineer, and RPI certainly has stolen one to end this first semester. Brown thought they had it won. One, two seconds left, RPI ties it, and they win it in OT. What a finish here in Troy. So it took 59 minutes and 58 seconds, but the engineers figure out Gavin Nieto, and Mike Gordel and, and Tristan Ashbrook pull it away, and Alec Calvaruso gets a win in his first, in his first collegiate start for RPI.